concavity. It is a technique with the help of which we measure the bending in curves. There are two types of concavity. The first one is called concave up. So if we draw the graph of some function, f of x, and it is like this one, which looks like a cave from upward direction, then we say that the graph of f of x is concave up. Now, look at the graph of f of x, the slope of tangent. Let us say this is a tangent. Then the slope here is negative. Now, on this point, the slope of tangent is zero. Here, the slope of tangent is positive. So the slope of tangent increases on the graph of a function if it is concave up. Moreover, a minimum value must occur inside the graph of that function at some point C. And if the graph of a function is concave up, then in that case, if double dash must be equal to some positive number inside the whole interval in which the graph of the function is concave up. If we draw the graph of a function f of x and it is like this one which looks like a cave from downward direction then we say that the graph of the function is concave down now look at the slope in this case the slope f dash is positive now at some point here the slope f dash becomes parallel to the x axis in other words f dash is zero and then again at some point the slope f dash is negative so if the graph of a function is concave down in that case the slope of tangent decreases. And in that case, some maximum value must occur at a point C. If we put x is equal to C in the function f of x, then we can get a maximum value at that point. And if the graph of a function is concave down, in that case, in that interval, f dash, f double dash must be equal to some negative number. Now let us consider the graph of another function, which is like this one. This is the graph of a function f of x. We can see that here, the graph is concave down and here the graph is concave up. So there is a point before which the graph is concave down and after that the graph is concave up and that point is called point of inflection. So we can say that a point at which the concavity changes is called point of inflection. Or consider another graph. Now here the graph is like this one. Before that point C, the graph is concave up and after that the graph is concave down. So that point at which concavity changes 
from concave up to down or concave down to up is called point of inflection. To find point of inflection, we usually put f double dash of x equal to zero and we get the point C. In example number one, let us find the interval in which this function is concave up and down. The first task is to differentiate this function. So we have f dash of x, which is equal to 3x square by 6, which is x square by 2, minus 2x plus 4. Let us differentiate it once again. f double dash of x is equal to 2x square by 2. So this is 2x by 2. So this is x minus 2. Now for inflection point, we put f double dash equal to zero, which means x minus two is equal to zero. And from here we have only one point, x is equal to two. Let us indicate that point on a real line. We say this is our point two. On the left hand side, we have minus infinity. On the right hand side, we have plus infinity. So there are two intervals. The first one is from minus infinity to two. And the second one is from two to infinity. Let us check the concavity in these two intervals. In the first interval, which is from minus infinity to two, let us take a point from inside this interval. So zero is a point which is between minus infinity to two. Now put zero in f double dash of x. So we have from two that f double dash of zero is equal to zero minus two, which is minus two. So we have a negative number. This implies that f double dash is less than zero in this interval. And this implies that f of x is concave down in the interval minus infinity to two. And now let us take the next interval, which is from two to infinity. Again, let us take some point from inside this interval. So three is inside the interval, which is from two to infinity. And we put three in f double dash of x. So f double dash of x is equal to three minus two, which is plus one. So we have a positive number. In other words, f double dash of x is positive in this interval. And this implies that f of x is concave up in the interval to, to infinity. Let us find the interval in which the function is concave up and down given in example number two. So the first task is to differentiate this function. We have f dash of x, which is equal to x cubed by three minus x square minus three x plus four. And now let us differentiate this function once again. We have f double dash of x, which is equal to x square minus 2x minus 3. For simplicity, let us factorize this quadratic equation. So we have x square minus 3x plus x minus 3. And if we further simplify this, 
we have f double dash of x is equal to x plus one into x minus three. Now let us say this is our equation number two and put it f double dash of x equal to zero to get the inflection points. So we have x plus one into x minus three is equal to zero. From here we have two points, x is equal to minus one and the other one is x is equal to three. So we have two point of inflections. Now let us draw a real line and indicate these two points on this line. Let us say this is minus one and this one is three. On the left hand side, we have minus infinity. On the right hand side, we have plus infinity. So we have three intervals. This is the first interval from minus infinity to minus one. This is the next one from minus one to three. And this is the third one from three to infinity. Let us check the concavity in all of these three intervals. So the first interval is from minus infinity to minus one. Now pick a point from inside this interval. So we take minus two, which is in this interval and put that point in F double dash, which is given by equation number two. So F double dash of minus two is equal to minus two plus one into minus two minus three. So we get minus five into minus one. So we have plus five. This is a positive number. Since F double dash of X is positive in this interval, this implies that F of X is concave up in the interval minus infinity to minus one. And now let us check the concavity in the second interval. In the second interval, we have minus one to three. And now let us take a point in from this interval. So zero is a point which is in this interval. So we put zero in F double dash of X. And from here we get zero plus one into zero minus three. So the answer is minus three, which is a negative number. Since F double dash of X is negative in this interval, this implies that F of X is concave down in the interval minus one to three. And now let us check the concavity in the last interval, which is from three to infinity. Again, take a point from inside this interval. So four is a point which is in this interval put four in F double dash of X. So we have F double dash of four, which is equal to four plus one into four minus three. And if we simplify, we get a positive number. So F double dash of X is positive in this interval, it means that f of x is concave up in the interval from three to infinity. That's all.